Hello there, and welcome to Penman Lighthouse. I'm looking forward to a nice night. Swell's picking up. High tide is in about another 20 minutes, uh, the swell is picking up, uh, the sky is breaking, I'll just turn around, you can actually see the sun, and if I turn around the other way, and watch the swell, I get knocked off these rocks, you can actually see sunlight on the hills over there, um, the forecast is for this cloud to break literally just before sunset. So I'm hoping that uh, we're going to get a good sunset here. I'm just looking around for different compositions. Uh, I may just turn around a minute. Look, look at this. Check this business out. Uh, always think number one safety. Don't do what I'm doing. Uh, be careful. Learn to look. Not only do you look for tide times, you also look for swell height. Um, usually it tells you on some of the apps like you know the tide time apps um, keep an eye on the swell because the last thing you want is for one of these big waves to come and hit you and take you off um, I don't quite fancy that so I should be moving very shortly as you can see the uh, the sun is just poking out over there, so I'm hoping to move just up to my left from where I am now, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, we should be good for a nice sunset. There's a big black cloud right up to the north, I'm just hoping that that doesn't come over. Um, Fingers crossed, eh? Well, the swell is definitely picking up now. There's some big waves coming in. I'm, uh, I'm looking at the sun, where the sun is. There's some nice rays out there. So I'm going to move back round to my right and hopefully pick up some of that uh, lovely orange. It's been nice and early yet, so if I can catch it, at least I can make some of it out of it. There is some blue above the lighthouse, as you can see, just up there. Um, look at the swell. It's, it's so important, not only to look at tide times, but also swell height. Uh, if you're stood on one of these rocks and the swell hits you, watch this, it's, it'll take you off. Um, you're gonna get hurt, you're gonna get hurt. If you're on big cliffs, there's some places around here in Pembrokeshire, if the swell catches you, you're a goner. So, think safety first, golden rule. Um, be careful of the swell, not just the tide itself, it's the swell you've got to be careful of. I'm going to move back around towards my right to catch the uh, lighthouse with some of this orange that's just starting to come now and the blue. Uh, Puffing Island over there, look. There's a lot of birds flying about on the island, so um, it's a shame they're not coming around the lighthouse, that would be great, that would for me. But uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, have a little walk back down here and I'll catch you shortly. I'll just show you my composition here. Um, as you can see, Puffin Island is lit up, so I'm going to take this shot. Just this wave comes in. Uh, I've got the lighthouse in the left hand rule of thirds, and Puffin Island is in the right hand rule of thirds. I'm trying to time the swell just lapping over the rocks and the water just running back out. Um, I seem to 
I think I'd enjoy the shot better as the water's just receding, especially if another tide's just coming in like it is right now, and then washes the white water in even farther. There you go, just take that shot. I'm doing a focus stack again, I'll focus on the lighthouse. So I've got that shot, the lighthouse of Puffin Island will be sharp. And I'm now focusing on these rocks just in front of me. This is just to catch the swell and, and get the foreground sharp. And I will just focus stack the two images in Photoshop. The, the lighthouse is just starting to light up now. There's the sun. There's a bit of light in the lighthouse. Puffin Island over there is also lighting up. So I'm going to get off the GoPro and I'm going to just concentrate on a few shots. There's a bit of orange coming in the sky, a bit of blue. So, yep, I think it's looking good so far. There is a big bank of cloud on the horizon, so sunset may be very short lived again. Um, but who knows, we, uh, we may get something. Just going to shoot this lighthouse, now I've got a bit of light on it. The lighthouse is a little beautiful now. Betsy's is eating seaweed. She had a coughing fit this morning, eating grass, got a bee stuck in her throat. Got home, ate her breakfast, went to sleep. Here's me thinking we're going to go to the vets. And uh, no, nope, just slept it off. But out now and she's eating seaweed, looking for crabs. She loves crabs, loves munching on them. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get a few more shots now and I'll catch you shortly. Well, the sun has just gone behind a big bank of clouds. I've still got probably another hour before sunset. So I'm now going to walk back up to my left. The tide is just starting to turn now, but that's high tide, literally 10 minutes ago, so it will be turning. It's turned quite fast here. So I'm going to have a little walk up, there's a little outcrop up here and while the tide is just receding the swell should be dropping a little bit so I might just... Bra Betsy come here! I might just brave um, walking out and maybe getting my feet wet uh, Let's see what happens I'm loving the diagonal line coming from the bottom left hand corner here straight through the picture but the lighthouse pretty much in the centre, Puffin Island's off to the right. A big swell has just come and just gone over my welly, so I've now got wet feet. Uh, here comes another one. It's looking fantastic, I'm loving the way the swell's just coming in. And, I mean the tide's going out now, so there's no danger of getting knocked off really. The, the swell isn't too bad. The sun's shining lovely on the lighthouse, as you can see, and on Puffin Island. So, Betsy's back in the shot again. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a crack on and get a few more photos. Now we've got some colour coming in the sky. There is a bank of cloud on the horizon. I've probably got minutes now while the sun's out. So I'm going to make the most of it and uh, try and catch this swell coming in. How are you, mate? You alright? That's where I'm walking. The tide is just turning now, the swell will start to uh, ease off shortly, now the tide's turning. So there's a little air crop up here, we're going to get some nice shots of the lighthouse and Puffin Island. If the sun does come out shortly, I'm going to get around the corner and I'll show you. I'll turn around and just show you the orange in the sky, it's looking fantastic. The sun is in a bank of cloud at the moment. There are rays coming out the cloud everywhere. I'll just turn around in a second and I'll show you on the GoPro. It does look amazing. Just look at that business. The light rays, everything. There's the lighthouse. Shame that that isn't right behind the lighthouse for me. But kind of everything I suppose. I am going to walk out, I'll just try and show you. Literally, just this side of the lighthouse. There is a track that actually goes out to the lighthouse. 
So I'm going to get on a little outcrop just to the left of this little track and I think I'm going to try and get my feet wet as the tide's going out now. The swell should be easing off a little bit so fingers crossed we can get something. I'm hoping that when the uh, sun, let me just turn around again, instead of the rays underneath the cloud where the sun is, there is a clear area there and I'm hoping that that is going to light up the lighthouse and Puffin Island. Um, if it does, shot should look really nice. There's plenty of colour in the sky. Um, as I say, we're still, I think, 45 minutes from sunset. Betsy, come here. So, who knows? If we might get a good sunset, it may just die as it usually does when I come out to places like this. Four hour drive. Uh, I'm quite happy with some of the shots I've got, to be honest. I've been a wasted journey. Here's that little track I was telling you. It leads out straight to the steps on the lighthouse. Stunning place. If you haven't been here before, Penman Lighthouse up on uh, Anglesey. It's quite easy to find. There is a toll road, you have to pay three quid to come down, but that covers your parking as well. Um, which I don't mind paying. It's, uh, it's all part of it. There's a few photographers here, a few people having picnics. I've just been talking to a, a, a fellow with his son and they've caught the tea, they've caught a few mackerel and they've got the barbecue on now. Even offered me a bit, I'm surprised Betsy isn't over there <laughs> trying to get his off them. Talking to Betsy, there she is. Absolutely loving it, loving it. And that's it for tonight, the uh, sunset has gone. And I'm going to make me a cup of tea and then head back home. Um, what a fantastic time. It, I think it's a bit too cold for the bioluminescent algae, so I'm going to give it a miss. I know I should stay, but uh, I think it's too cold. So I'll have a cup of tea to say, head back. If you like the video, please give me a big thumbs up. Hit the little notification bell, and you'll get notifications of the, every video I put on there then. Uh, until next time, see you soon.